Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. The Ohio House of Representatives is scheduled to meet tomorrow, the Ohio Senate on Wednesday. And there are lawmakers in both chambers who want the state to open for all businesses now. I learned today that the effort to reopen Ohio will likely start in the House, but may have trouble getting through the Senate. The debate over reopening is our top story at 10. The last time the Ohio legislature met was in late March when lawmakers passed a plan to deal with the coronavirus. At that time, most everyone was supportive. This is very important as many business owners and workers are under financial stress. 41 days later, Representative Derek Marin was one of 35 House Republicans who signed a document demanding Governor Mike DeWine open all of Ohio now. The document states all businesses are essential and Ohioans can make their own choices of whether they want to go out. Diane Grendel, who represents Portage and Geauga counties, also signed it. You know, big businesses and grocery stores and, and, and you know, um, uh, Target and Costco and Walmart get to be open, but the little guy who's desperately trying to survive and doing everything on his own, you know, can't have his business. There's, there's not a lot of logic to some of these things. Governor, I think opening it slowly and we're seeing the, the steps being taken, I think are appropriate. Trumbull County State Senator Democrat Sean O'Brien says it's not been announced if the House will consider a bill to shift the powers of opening and closing the state from the governor and give them to the state legislature. Even if it does pass the House, O'Brien doesn't see it moving quickly through the Senate. Talking with President Offoff, um, he has indicated that he is in agreement with how the governor has been handling it and agrees that we should do the slow approach. Uh, that the governor has put forth. So I, I, he condones that and is in, is in foot. During his daily briefing today, Governor DeWine was asked about the possibility of legislation taking away his power to open and close Ohio, and the governor declined to comment until he saw the legislation.